Cam Johnson. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, Kelvin Shepard, brings him down. And the defense for New York. Landon Collins is built like your typical tackle first safety. But he does have the ability to play the deep part of the field. And it's a short one here to go to his tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. What a hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. Right? We just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he even had a chance to think about turning it off for you. It'll be a gain of four. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Now Bradley gets it to Gordon. <laughs> and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Josh Gordon, 41 yards, and the Browns have taken the early lead. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Now after the score, it's Archeon to kick it away. Bobby Rainey now to return it. Oh, heck of a move, man. They'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. There's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little bit of it. But oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got to call and you want to see how the defense reacts. They may not go to it on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, get a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And it is incomplete. He was looking for Odell back in that time. And it's second down. It's a try and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you put pressure on them and make it tough, that's when you're going to help you do that. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Well, still in search of the first down after that last completion. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Manning looking to throw in third and two. It's caught. Shepard. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can play that week. Can hit him underneath now. Yeah. We just saw that game with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with a defensive game. There we go as a game of ten there. And it'll be a New York first. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. The kicks away. 
That's Field in the end zone. And the Browns offense back out there ready to take over. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last time when they were able to push it in for six. And they're hoping to be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I've seen the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling the plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. A nice pick up there. Ten yards and it'll move the sticks. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing. And they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line, scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think run. In this case, the offense is able to run successfully. To throw is RG3. That's complete. It's Gordon. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. And he motions the wide receiver. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So a first down and five for the offense. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? They'll throw on first down with Redford. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And this is caught inside the five. That goes for a gain of 31. They took a shot downfield towards the end zone, and he came up with a big-time catch, but he was tackled a little bit short of the goal line. Now the defensive guys, they got to pick their heads up and try and hold them to a field goal attack. And here we go on first and goal. On the ground, this is Jackson. There will be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. And really, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line, because ordinarily you use... Back into the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try to help against the run. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. RG3 with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns have taken the lead. So with second and goal, still had a couple of downs to work with. They tried to sneak, and they got in. I like the idea that they did it early in the down and distance count. Second down as opposed to waiting later on. I think it fooled them a little bit, but how about the push they got up front to get the quarterback to? Big push and a touchdown to boot. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll begin the drive. We'll push it on Johnny. And runs on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's get Kramer all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice drive. On second down, here's Manning. Possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in the touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to what we said with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan. And uh, the Giants will stop playing as they take a time out to pick. It's just their first. 
score, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. They'll run it with Jackson. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. 